In the northeast corner of the Celestial Suites sitting room stands a statue of a young girl holding a book. This statue is 17th century Spanish wood polychrome. The figure is unusual because it has glass eyes. How did the artist fit them into a wood sculpture? Polychrome artists carved the face separately from the rest of the head, almost like a mask. They then inserted the eyes into the back of the face and glued them to the eyelids. After that, the face was glued to the rest of the head. Another unique aspect of the statue is that it depicts Mary as a young girl. While William Randolph Hearst collected Madonna paintings and sculptures by the dozens, images of the Virgin Mary as a child are rare. During the 17th century, Spain witnessed the growth of a movement called the Cult of the Mother of God, a religious movement that focused on the devotion to and veneration of the Virgin Mary. Worshippers began to create accounts of Mary's childhood in the absence of her childhood history in the Gospels. Images of the Virgin as a child became popular in Spain during this time. Mary is dressed in the style of clothing that would have been popular for young girls during the 17th century. The pattern on the fabric is created by a very labor-intensive and difficult technique called estofado. It involves applying gilding, painting over it, and then scratching designs into the paint, revealing the gold underneath. In one hand, Mary holds a quill pen, and in the other, a book. The book is inscribed with the words from the Canticle of the Virgin, also known as the Magnificat, found in the Gospel of St. Luke. The words were Mary's response to the angel Gabriel's announcement that she would be giving birth to the Son of God. Young Mary stands on a cloud that is ringed by cherubs, symbolizing her bodily assumption into heaven. This statue has been dated to the late 17th century and may have originated in Seville, where the cult of the Mother of God had a large following. William Randolph Hearst purchased the statue in 1920 at an auction in New York. Visitors today can catch a glimpse of her on the Upstairs Suites tour.